Today we got here, Marvel's Legends Infinity Series Ghost Rider. So this is the figure in the box. Comes with the left leg of the Rhino build a figure wave. And on the side you get Ghost Rider himself. Pretty nice artwork, I say so myself. And Misty Moon here as well too. And I don't know a lot of this character. I just know that she's in the Netflix series. That that's that's about it in the Luke Cage specifically. And what else we got here? Oh yeah, in the back we get the rest of the waves for the Rhino. Ghost Rider again and Misty Moon. And sorry about the camera, I'm just working this thing out. And there's a brief description as well you can see. If you want, you can pause the video and read the description. Got the figure out of the packaging. I really like this figure personally because it's my, what is it, second Ghost Rider to have. And I like this comic book one better than the movie version that was out. Which is uh, the first Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage, not the Spirit of Vengeance. And I really like this figure. I also, like, when I first got it, I was like, this is a must have, really, to me, since. I really like the character, but not just not just because Asian Shields made uh, Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider better is um, which to me yeah now is better. I'm starting to like that version now than if I saw it in the comic book store. Honestly, it's a really good figure to me. I it's worth getting if you can find it at, um, at your retail store. But overall, let's get to the articulation. His head rotates, jaw opens, arm rotates as well, bicep swivel, double joint elbow, wrist articulation, goes same thing for this one. The other arm. This is why does he go go? Waist. Ab crunch. Leg moves far this much. Back this much. And out. For both of them. Yeah, it's not that big, but I, I really like posing him, how he is standing. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, double jointed knee. Ankle articulation. Ankle pivot. Pivot, I'm sorry. And what else, what else, what else? Yeah, that's about it for, yeah, that's the articulation. Overall, this figure is really nice. I highly re recommend you get it if you're into um, Ghost Rider or you actually like the figure or use this like, collector yourself like me. So far, this is one of many figures that I have for Marvel. And I will be doing DCs as well. But I don't know which one to do first. I just got this because I wanted to and if you want I could take turns with DC and Marvel Legends but uh, specifically for DC is um DC New 52 Waves and um, Icons but so far my only gripes with this figure is that since I got it off of Amazon since I couldn't find it in my local store at all which I was sad the figure's arms like almost I want to say falling off I don't know if you can see it. Like right there. It's like ready to fall off. I'm I'm afraid to like even pose him in doing the action scene. It's like loose than the other one though. Bro, bro, it's a decent figure still. Like at least hopefully we get your copy. It is. 
and as well, I guess I I don't I like Marvel as it is, for Legends. I just don't like how they don't do uh, new sculpts for each different ones. Like okay, for Ghost Rider, of course, obviously got new head, translucent, translucent flames, and what I was told that apparently that some of the body mold itself is from Star Lord, the comic book version, and. Was that an an aim figure as well? Which is my only gripe. I don't know why. Um, sorry if you're um, hating on me right now for saying it, but I don't see why Marvel don't usually remake new sculpts for them. Like uh, how DC New Fifty Two are, they're new. They're they're not reused at least. But some of them do good on them. I enjoy it still. But I highly recommend you get this. Oh yeah, I forgot you get the um, the chain right here too. It comes off, and uh, I, it's kind of sad they don't put the actual chain on him, like an accessory, because that'd be pretty awesome, as well with some flame effects too. But right now, I still say this is good. If you have um, Toy Biz's Ghost Rider motorcycle, you can actually pose it on it, which I'm getting my version soon, hopefully. And yeah, yeah that's about it. Uh, that's all we have. I hope you guys enjoy Please leave a comment, but especially please leave a comment how I should do way better. Because I've been trying to do this for a while now, and anyway, sorry, sorry for me babbling on. I hope you guys stay tuned for more reviews. Hopefully, this one, this time, I will do way better because I'm just doing it for. Hey, you know, like uh, might as well since I have re toys too, might as well review them, right? And yeah, thanks.